I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Brahmins. Today is Tuesday, January 12th, 2021. We got quite a few announcements this morning, so I'm going to go ahead and throw it right on over to Mr. Stewart. He has some announcements about sports last night. Hey, good morning. We do. We have, uh, actually, we have some sports announcements from not only last night, but over the weekend. Over the weekend, uh, thanks to super wrestling mother, Tracy Mendez, I got an email yesterday that uh, Jose Monroy, one, or he came in fourth place in the 220 pound division and Travis McKenna third place in the 170 pound division and Charlie Armstrong fourth place in the 126 pound division in their weekend tournament this uh, past uh, weekend over in Jensen Beach the cradle cancer tournament over in Jensen good job guys excellent showing over there also uh, we had a, a big you know I don't know how many of you are Alabama fans I'm not so don't assume that, although they won the national championship last night. But we also had several winners for Brahman sports last night. Boys soccer beat Martin County, big team. Martin County beat them 2-1 to one last night. Goals by Antonio Zamora and Blaine Boyer. Good job, boys. And the girls soccer also wins 5-1. to one. Uh, And varsity girls basketball were winners. So great job all around our sports team. I do want to pass along that on January 19th, there will be tennis tryouts. If you have any questions about that, you'll see Miss Tramer. Uh, also, flag football tryouts for the uh, girls are coming up as well on February 8th. Now, we've changed over from Register My Athlete. We're now on a different website called Final Forms. All of the coaches should know about that. If you have any questions, students, please email Kenny Buckner. He's your athletic director. Good morning, freshmen. I know that your ELA teachers may have talked to you a little bit about the progress monitoring for ELA that's going to happen this week. Um, we're going to do things a little differently this semester than last semester. On Thursday, all freshmen will need to report here to freshman campus. So if you have first, second period, normally at OHS main campus, you'll need to come here and you will be taking your ELA NWEA progress monitoring testing. Um, so for those of you who have a first period, here are your testing locations. So listen up. If you have ROTC or guard first period, you will report to room 208 for testing. If you have PE with Ms. LeClaire, you will report to 2101, which is actually in the district building. Um, so that's next door, but we'll, we'll have the door open and make sure that you can get in there. If you have auto, um, you will with Mr. Anderson, you will report to room 306 for testing. And if you have PE with Ms. Ingram first period, you will report to the auditorium for testing. So that'll take approximately all of first and second period. And then we'll handle math um, next week. So um, if you have any questions, ask your ELA teachers. Um, they'll be able to, um, to give you more information specifically. But I mean, hopefully, Everybody here, I think there'll be a nice little um, Brahmin Bucks reward for, for being here that day to get that taken care of. So um, make sure you ask if you have questions and make sure you come here and not to the high school. Ms. Smith? Just a gentle reminder, students, um, when you are catching the bus to the high school, each assigned bus has an assigned shuttle. You must ride the correct shuttle over to the high school and you must ride the correct bus home. So please, if you have any questions about that, you can catch myself or Mrs. Goggins out at the bus loop or during lunch. We will tell you the correct shuttle that is assigned to your bus. So please, 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 let's just be diligent in following the rules, guys. Thank you. I have two quick announcements to finish up our morning. Um, the first one, OHS teachers, we've already seen a couple groups of you, but don't forget that you're meeting with Mr. Stewart maybe myself and some of them, for your VAM roster verification. And then another really important announcement, we've switched over our code for students that are temporarily not on campus. 
So now in their attendance code, they're, you're going to see a Q. So no more two in that little box. Instead, look for that Q. And if you have any questions about a student being on campus or not, teachers reach out to myself or Miss Ammons. So it's going to be a terrific Tuesday as we move forward. Be great. Be promised. All, All day. day.